Hello everyone. Welcome back to studytonight.com. In our last video, we studied about the basic concept of normalization. We saw and understood how data redundancy can lead to several issues and how normalization can reduce data redundancy and make the data more meaningful. In this video, we will learn about the first normal form, which is like the step 1 of the normalization process. The first normal form expects you to design your table in such a way that it can easily be extended and it is easier for you to retrieve data from it whenever required if a table or a database is not even in first normal form it is considered as bad database design so we can say first normal form is the basic requirement and to follow this should become your default nature while creating tables to store data also it is the step 1 to move on to second and third normal form the first normal form expects you to follow a few simple rules while designing your database and they are rule number 1 each column of your table must be single valued which means it should not contain multiple values we will explain this with help of an example later let's see the other rules for now rule number 2 this is more of a common sense rule in each column the value stored must be of the same kind for example if you name a column date of birth to save date of births of a set of people then you cannot or you must not save names of some of them in that column along with date of births of others in that particular column it should hold only date of birth for all the entries or rows rule number 3 expects each column to have a unique name this is to avoid confusion at the time of retrieving data If one or more columns have same name, the DBMS system will be left confused. Rule number four says that the order in which you store the data in your table doesn't matter. Although all the rules are self-explanatory, still, let's take an example where we will create a table to store student data, which will have student roll number, their name, and the name of subjects they have opted for. So we will be creating a table with three columns. We can obviously have as many columns in our table as we want, but for our example, we only need three. We will name the columns roll number, name, subject. Let's add some data to our table. Now with data added, our table already satisfies three rules out of the four rules, as all our column names are unique. We have stored data in the order we want it to. and we have not mixed different types of data in our columns but out of the three different students in our table two have opted for more than one subject and we have stored the subject names in a single column but as per first normal form each column should contain atomic values now how to solve this problem it's very simple because all we have to do is break the values into atomic values by doing so although few values are getting repeated but values for subject column is now atomic for each row hence a table is in first normal form